What's up everybody? Today I got some fire for you. If you work with cards, you have more than likely been asked the question, Can I shuffle the cards? And you have to let them shuffle those cards. Luckily, I have three tips that will help you. And hopefully by the end of this video, instead of being nervous when someone asks that, you are going to be excited. So I'm going to teach you the three things that I do if somebody asks me that question. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, before I start, I want to go ahead and say if someone is asking to shuffle the cards, it is most likely because they saw you had a pinky break or they feel as if you have control of their card in one way or another. But there are those picky spectators that actually just want to shuffle just because they want to try to trip you up. So here are the methods for getting around this problem. Okay, so method number one. If they ask to shuffle, let's say they select the ace of clubs, you put it back into the middle, you've controlled it to the top of the deck, and they ask to shuffle right then and there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna palm off the card. That is method number one. I used to do this. You palm off the card, and then you say, here you go, shuffle, or you hand it with the dirty hand, and you say, shuffle the cards, and then you drop your hands to the side. You can do this. You can, you can do this, well, whatever you want to help make this casual and not just have your hands by your side. But while you have a dirty hand like this and you're palming the card, you want to keep on talking. Talk about their shuffling. Talk about what they did today. Talk about their cats. Talk about their family. I don't care whatever it is. Keep on talking and that'll help keep the heat off of your hand. Now they're going to hand you the cards. You have a dirty hand, right? And if they hand you the cards in this hand, grab the cards like this, talk for a bit, gesture, and then go ahead and place that card back on top as casually as you can. Okay, so that's tip number one. <clears throat> that is palming off the card. If you don't know how to palm, it's okay. I got you covered. This is method number two. I don't use this often, but there are cases which I do. And this is how it works. First, you need the card signed. So I'm going to go ahead and sign it right here. So that's the signature, and you want them to sign it nice and big so it'll be easier to spot. Now, what's going to happen is after they sign the card, you put it back in the middle and they ask to shuffle, you're going to legitimately lose the card. They're going to shuffle up the cards, and then once they're done, you're going to jump into a completely different routine. Just completely different because they don't know what you're doing. So they have no idea what's going to happen with that signed card. And then after that routine, you're going to locate it with the correct misdirection and without the heat on the cards at that moment. So the way you're going to locate the card is with an overhand shuffle. You're not going to be facing them while you do it. You're going to be the back of the cards are going to be facing them as you shuffle. And while you do that, all you're going to be doing is looking for a signed card. Now, you're going to be talking, there it is. Once you find it, you run one card, and then you in-jog another card towards yourself, and then you run off all the other cards. So now you've located that card disguised as a shuffle, because you have this card to tell you where it is. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to push down on this, catch the pinky, break, and then do whatever way you want to control it. You can pass it to the top or you can do a double undercut and then you've successfully brought that card back to the top regaining complete control of the selection. Now if you don't run into the card and you go through it like two times shuffling and you don't see the card at all, what you're gonna do is literally just go through the cards and find it. There it is, I'm gonna call it right to the top and then I'm going to most likely do card to pocket and be like, hey, remember that card that you picked? Well, if we look inside of my pocket, it somehow managed to get in there. And so then you just finished a routine that was completely different, and then you do that on top of that routine, and you're like, remember that card that you signed? You pull it out, and that is double mind blowing. It's like layers are added on top of it, and it makes the experience so much better for the spectator. And that's tip number two. Now for method number three. 
Method number three is the one that I probably use the most. So let's say you have a card selected the nine of spades, you put it back into the middle, and of course you don't know this, only the spectator, and somehow you manage to control the card to the top, and then they ask to shuffle. You know the card is on top, so here is the secret. You ready? The card is on top, they ask to shuffle, you say of course, you're gonna do a pinky count on one card, and you are going to crimp that card with the pinky and pinch it just like that and you're gonna bend the card now you don't have to bend the shit out of it you just gotta bend a tiny bit of the card just that is all that you need to be able to do it see watch you hand the cards off to them and they're gonna shuffle look, look I'll even shuffle the cards five times Okay, so now they've shuffled up the cards. Nobody's gonna shuffle that much, but this is just to prove to, th prove to you that no matter how many times they shuffle, that crimp is still gonna be there. You can still see it right there. And so what you're gonna do at this moment is whenever they hand you back the cards, you're gonna know that it's either this corner or this corner, depending if they rotated the deck at all, right? So you're gonna take the cards back and you're gonna rotate it and look for the bend. You don't see any bends on this corner, so you know it's on the other corner. You're gonna turn it, you're gonna find the bend, and boom, there it is. And you're going to shuffle off right from that bend. And then boom, just like that, you've controlled that card right back to the top. Now once you have that card controlled to the top, you can literally do whatever you want. It is completely up to you. Keep in mind that if they ask to shuffle, it is a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. It gives a moment of really showing that you have good skills and that you're a good magician and you know and you've been through this before. Make sure to practice these tips and make sure that you get them down smooth so you can control those cards without the slightest bit of inclination that you are controlling the card. And please don't bend the card too much. That that, that defeats the purpose and they will notice. Just a tiny little bend is all that you need to make this work. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Later.